Hello everyone, welcome to Civil Brains YouTube channel. So in this video, we'll try to understand uh, what is PB structure, what is the demand of that in future, and how do you learn all these things in a more better way so that you can go to a better position and you can apply for such companies. So if you see such kind of showrooms anywhere, all these showrooms are done with the help of a pre-engineered building. So what is this pre-engineered buildings? So basically, the execution remains the same. That is, you'll do the uh, excavation. After excavation, you're going to do the footing and all. So this will be always same. After that, what we do is we start with the erection of the steel column. All these are your steel column. The columns are, um, you know, fabricated in the factories. And then uh, on the site, we do the erection of this. So I'll show you a few images like this. You can see all these things. Then all these are your bolted connections. So in this way, uh, all these are your stiffeners. This is your base plate. This is your column web. Uh, sorry, this is column flange. This is the web of the column. This is another flange. So you can see all these things. So in this way, we are going to do the erection of this entire thing. And then uh, this is how it looks. So after that, these are the certain drawings that you should know how to read the drawings and all. So here it will be mentioned like what is column. Okay. Then it will be mentioned here like uh, what is a, a stiffener that you're supposed to use. Then how many number of bolts you're supposed to give. Then what is this uh, base plate? BP stands for base plate. What is the thickness of a base plate? How much holes you're supposed to do. All these things will be mentioned in the drawing. So being an engineer who is a field engineer or, or who is working on a PEB construction, he should know to read all these drawings and all. So in this way, we'll do the entire execution. So you can see the executions and all. And if you see such kind of buildings and all, no, all these are your steel structure building. So I'll show you a few more things. So this is how those, uh, uh, what you call, uh, the plate connections. That is, this is your flange, this is web, and this is flange. All these are manufactured in the, fabricated in the factories and all. And then it is carried to the site. And in the site, we are going to do the erection. Then this is something called as deck sheets. Once all these things are done, in, in RCC, what you do, you put a slab and all. RCC slab you put. But here what happens in the pre, uh, if you want a flat roof and all, once all the erections are completed, you put such kind of uh, deck sheets. These are called as deck sheets. So you're going, to, you're going to arrange the deck sheets like this. You can see, right? And once the deck sheets are arranged, then you're going to do the concreting of this. So it will look something like this. You can see all the deck sheets are arranged. Then uh, we'll provide a minimum reinforcement. The advantage is that you're going to save a lot of uh, centering cost. Uh, you don't have to wait for 21 days to remove the centering and all, then raise the floor. That is all not, that is all eliminated in the pre-engineered buildings and all. So basically the advantage is that if you go with a conventional steel structure, so what happens, you're using an entire structure. Let's say you're using an Indian standard medium beam of, let's say 300, 400. So entire everywhere you're going, going to give a same depth of it, right? Same is with a column also. But in the pre-engineered building, what happens based on my bending moment, let's say my bending moment is maximum here and my bending moment is minimum here. So this is my bending moment diagram. Since my bending moment is maximum here and it's minimum here, I require a less width here. And here the bending moment is maximum. I require a larger width here. So that is the reason you see, see here, you see the shape of the column. It's called as a tapered column. All this is a tapered column. In the same way for the rafter also, we call this as a rafter. So in the rafter, again, the bending moment will be something. Here the bending moment will be maximum. And then it will slowly go like this. Since your bending moment is maximum here in this portion, you require a bigger depth of the rafter. And when you go towards the center part here, your bending moment is very less. Since the bending moment is less, you require less depth of your rafter. So that is how we try to make our structure more economical. But when you go for the normal conventional steel structure, even though here, let's say the depth is more depth is required. Here, less depth is required. But you don't have that opportunity to you know, reduce the size and all if you're going with the hot roll sections. And all. That is where your pre-engineered buildings will help you. So if you see all these buildings and all, no? All these are your pre-engineered buildings. If you see these buildings, all these factories you can see, you know, all these are your pre-engineered buildings. All these are your pre-engineered buildings and all. Understood. So now in pre-engineered buildings, there are a lot of things which you need to understand. Like what is column? What is rafter? What is wind column? What are these purlins? What are these girds? What is bracings? Where to provide bracings? So all these things is thought in my entire course. Okay, you can see all these things. We'll try to understand what is this roof monitor? What is this ridge ventilator? Okay, then where to provide the bracings? What is EOT crane and all? So in this way, this in the entire course, we'll try to understand what is this uh, 
skylight what is this ridge ventilator each and everything what are the systems in pb so these are the different systems in pb you can see then we have all these things like this so again this is these are the different types of structural system in pb like you have a single slope where the slope is in only one direction then we have this as a multi cable then we have a flat roof system and all so all these things is covered in my entire course where we teach you all these things practically from the side now if you see here all these things are the we are going to teach you practically from the side if you happen to visit any metro stations and all you see here all these are your plan bracing this is your curved rafter again you can see the same concept is applied here here the depth of the rafter is more so because the bending moment is maximum here so whenever you require a larger space now why do we provide why why do we go with pb structure suppose if you go with other structures and all no then it's very difficult to for you to give a bigger uh, length of a beam and all so in that case you need to give additional columns here suppose if you give additional column like this then the movement of the people it will be very difficult it will be it will hamper the movement of the people so in that case we go with the steel structures and all pv structure got an idea no so that's how it is so this is what all these things are taught in my entire course where i'll teach you each and everything like what is what is purlin what are the different uh, types of purlins what are the different types of uh, uh, what are the different sections in the purlin what is sag rod so all these things are called as sag rod uh, where is, yeah this is sag rod so why do you provide sag rod why the purlins are provided why the shape is something like this so all these things we are going if you happen to visit some warehouses and all so these are called as plan bracings these are your columns this is your bracket to handle that uh, crane and all these are your girds these are your wall sheeting okay we call it as cladding also so these are the things which you are going to learn in my entire course so again if you see this is one more building here okay again the same rafter this is called as plan bracings this is called as fly, uh, flange bracings okay so it's going to connect your purlins and all so if you see all these things no yeah so when you enroll in my end, what is jack pins what are expansion joints so all these things we are going to cover in the entire course of course i'll show you a few more things so that you get an idea about the pre engineered building then along with that uh, how how the executions are done for the pb uh, building how those materials are received on the site what is this rafters what are these columns we'll try to understand each and everything how do you do the execution on the site how this uh, anchor bolt fixing is done okay how to read those drawings and all so these are the things which you should be learning which you should be knowing so once you learn all these things definitely you can apply for such companies where they ask a pp engineer now let me show you a few more things you can see on the left side in this way we have explained each and everything how the erections are done each and everything i have covered in my entire course we will try to understand what is grouting why the grouting should be done all these are the pictures we will try to understand what are the shim plates what are this base plate okay then in the roofing also we have different types of puff panels we have different types of eps panel we'll try to understand that we'll also try to understand how the sheeting works are done practically on the side this is called a standing seam roof how it is done the meshes will be put up so each and everything practically from the side i'll be teaching you each and everything now if you ask me what is the scope of all these things i'll tell you what is the scope of all these things if you see here recently so these are the types of buildings that we'll be covering we'll try to understand all the execution of this buildings and all okay i'll be teaching you the execution practical site site videos will be covered if you see all these buildings so all these are your steel buildings only so just imagine all over the world like this is a building in tanzania it's in uae this is in india this is in uae if we just imagine if you learn all these things so definitely you can apply anywhere and you will have that much knowledge so that you can work on such projects also okay let me show you a few things here what are the opportunities that you have in uh, you see if you see here the current market size is 11 11 lakh metric ton growing at 7.5 cagr in the next 5 year now it's 2024 into till 2029 in the next 5 years approximately it will go to 15 lakh 69000 metric ton but the biggest problem is that no another major point of concern is the acute shortage of pb site engineers let's say if you are working on a site as a in a rcc now let's say you want to move towards this pb and all then definitely if you learn all these things you can apply for such jobs where they require a pre engineer uh, engineer where you should know how to do the execution of all these things so that is what it is covered in my entire course and all okay now i'll show you the, about the course and these are the companies where you can apply for like zamil kirby everest epac halis blue there are hundreds of company in the market where, which are into the manufacturing of this which are into the execution of this so if you learn all these things definitely you can apply for a better position and there is also scope and there is scope also in this type of buildings
RCC anyone can even a mason can do a G plus one G plus two building. Just imagine asking a mason to come and do something like this. you require an engineer. So those engineers are called as a site engineers, PP engineers. Just imagine doing such kind of projects. Do you think a mason can come and do such kind of projects? No, it's not possible. You require an engineer, and you require those engineers who have a technical knowledge also. There's something called as plan bracings. You should know what is plan bracings. Uh, sorry, there's something called elevation bracings. You should know when the bracing should be provided. You should know how to read those structural drawings. And all. So now let me take you to that particular course. There's an offer going on for the next three to four days. This course is usually priced at one four nine nine and all for the next four days. It's only for the next four days. Again, you don't ask me to for the same price of three ninety nine. So this entire course, it's a twenty hours course. What I've launched, I'll show you the content that you're going to get. So it's a complete twenty hours of the course. Already three thousand five hundred students have enrolled in the course. It's already a best seller on Udemy platform. And if you see here, these are the topics. It's almost twenty hours of the content. So we'll be starting with like this introduction to steel structure. What is base plate? What are these anchor bolts? Then we'll come to the what is text sheets? How to read the text sheet drawings? Okay, entire one building G plus one entire live building. I taught you how to do it. Along with that, we'll understand everything about PB, PB fundamentals. What is a fr framing system? Multi gable, flat roof. What is low rise PB? What are the accessories used? What is bracings? All the things we have taught in my entire course. So that again, if you come here into the planning and execution. PP direction planning and material handling. What is brace pay? How to install the roof rafter? Each and everything I have covered in my entire course. So that is what I have taught you in this entire presentation. Whatever is there in the presentation, with the help of beautiful videos, I have taught. And you can see all the reviews given by the students also. I'll show you the reviews given by students. Show all reviews. Almost 86 86 percent people have given a five star rating. You can see here at another uh, excellent course from Akshay sir. The online course on steel structure. So this course is super excellent course. It's a great course. Now just imagine there is lot of opportunity in the market. Just imagine someone learning all these things, and you can apply for such companies. Definitely, you can app. Uh, you can go for better companies. Uh, and this course is for someone who has one at least one year of site experience. Freshers, you will not be able to understand this course. For freshers, there is a course by name construction methodology. You enroll in that course. It's on RCC. First learn RCC. After learning RCC, if you want to learn steel structure, enroll in this course. This is for someone who has a knowledge in steel uh, RCC and you want to learn steel structure execution. It's the only course that you have on online platform. I don't think so. There's any anybody who has done a course on course on PP construction for 20 hours and where they have taught you each and everything. We have understood about the execution, about the planning part. We understood about. We have I have taken almost three to four site visits. We have gone to such buildings. Three four buildings I have covered in my course where I'll take you to the live. Side, live video, live side, and I'll explain you how those executions are done and all. Each and everything is covered in my course. So I'll give you the link uh, in below in the comment section and in the description. Click on the link, and for the next four days only, you can get it for four hundred, and you have a definite, you'll have a very good knowledge to this course, and you can see all the reviews given by the students. Okay, that's it. So I'll see you back in the next lecture. And somebody was not um, uh, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel, uh, so that you get a, um, beautiful videos from my. Uh, channel. So I'll see you back in the next lecture. And if somebody wants to connect to me asking for more information, you can WhatsApp me. Don't call me eight zero nine five one two eight one two eight one zero. This is my WhatsApp number. Plus nine one is Indian code. Okay. So you can WhatsApp me so that if you want any more information regarding other courses and all, you can do that. So I'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.